If you've received a comment under any of your videos or any other form of communication through Google or any other services like it, pointing back to me by someone using my icon and my channel name, uh, you've been proxy trolled. 2014, October 19th, a person or a group, at least trying to claim to be a group, decided to wage a harassment and uh, terrorism campaign, if you want to call it, by going around harassing me, downvoting my videos, that sort of thing. And originally when they started doing it, they didn't hide their IP address or anything from Google, so Google Analytics would show that the only person commenting, the only person downvoting, came from a particular state, somewhere in the Midwest. Once I pointed that out in a video, made note of it and kept records of it, um, the individual then went through proxies in various countries and eventually decided to settle on using Sweden for proxy so that they could run hundreds of YouTube accounts to downvote and flag and harass me. The accounts they would set up were copies of my account using my icon, channel name, many other components. And then they would go around and harass me and then harass other people. The channels were created in bulk by using a utility Google had made available for corporate companies that they didn't properly lock out. I found out that was being done because I received an email at one point. This individual had tried to hijack my account by sending me a notice that was supposed to go to their account, trying to get me to agree to something so that they could hijack my account. It didn't work. But I also ended up getting some of the notifications. Thank you for signing up for Google's, I guess, corporate, I forgot the name of it, but corporate bulk count creator. So I figured that out. And I pointed out to YouTube and Google that someone who's not supposed to use that was using it. But anyway, I was a victim of proxy trolling or impersonation accounts, as they're called by Google. And this went on for a long time. And I want to point out that Google enabled this by having their two, two things. One, Google Plus. This is primarily Google Plus accounts. That's what it was supposed to be for, but it was mostly used to set up YouTube accounts. And the other component that they did is they made their real name policy exist, which means you could set up impersonator accounts even easier. Counterintuitive, but that's really what happened. It became a big problem. It became a default click on my accounts. Uh, why are you flagging this person? Oh, the drop down immediately goes to impersonation account. Eventually, Google and YouTube figured out, again, from October 19th, 2014 forward, that someone was actually impersonating me with hundreds of accounts and going around and harassing people and getting them to come to my channel that actually has content and flag me instead, but pointing at the commentary that I didn't leave. And even though YouTube and Google were well aware of it, by that point I'd already lost a couple of accounts, they wouldn't let me have my accounts back and wouldn't tell me why until later. I'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, this went on until about 2016. Now, it ebbed and flowed, and I kept track of the timing, which told me probably what job type or activity this person was involved in. But basically, they would spend, this individual or group, claiming to be a group, would do this harassment for an entire day with hundreds of accounts, sometimes claiming to work at Google, sometimes claiming to be a crew, sometimes claiming to be one hacker. And again, somebody in the Midwest, Ohio or something, but this person would also use accounts that didn't look like me um, to go into the, uh, at the time, available uh, Google help forums and YouTube help forums, claiming to be a trusted contributor and an admin and using normal sounding names. Now, originally, this individual eventually revealed themselves to have contacted me through an account called NoBugs, which I was able to get archives of and find, and find out that this individual had posted a couple of videos and had a normal-looking YouTube channel, and had claimed that I had been insulting to them. You're rude. You are not permitted to have a YouTube account. We do not forgive. We do not forget. You know, a bunch of anonymous stuff. This individual, using all these impersonator accounts, could mass flag things. And that's, that's the end of the story until 2016, and then it seemed to stop completely. Now, I'd seen this happen continually, and I didn't understand why the hell it was happening, and it didn't matter. I did my best to deal with it. But I've been flagged and had my channels taken down, put back up, taken down, put back up. And I don't know if you know this, but nobody wants justice in this world. Corporations don't care about justice. Google and YouTube were very much aware at the time that I was being proxy flagged. 
they even used that expression in one of the emails. Eventually, I started dealing with a person at the other end, not a bot like we all do now. And the individual said, I've locked your account out from being flagged. You'll be informed that it's been flagged, but that's it. Just ignore it. And I told everybody, yeah, uh, my accounts are essentially bulletproof now. And it, I figured that's why the person stopped posting. But they're aware of this, but they still allowed some of the accounts to be torn down. And again, I wasn't told why. Anyway, in 2016, one of the accounts with a name to it, they all had different names. Jim Lee, Garrett Stark, and one of them was even named Team Justify. And variations on ad admin and extra names like that, including the initials, GS, or another initial set. And then some word. And then also impersonating other people they were harassing too. I was able to find out after the fact the following. The main name they went under originally, uh, No Bugs, was probably the original real account held by the individual for years beforehand. The next thing, claiming to be calling themselves Team Justify, that was because originally they had impersonated a group called Team Justify under Call of Duty gaming uh, servers. And one of them contacted me from the actual Team Justify and said, yeah, we were harassed by this jerk. They set up, literally set up gaming accounts that were nothing but just to harass us. Uh, we don't know what the problem is, and we don't know if it's a group or an individual. And then I got a couple of other details, which I'm not going to discuss here. One of the things this individual would do with their accounts impersonating me was post extremely horrible comments that were the kind of thing you call the police over. In fact, everything you could come up with that you would get the police called for, trying to get me in trouble. And this resulted in the actual FBI getting involved. They didn't contact me. They contacted Google. And Google immediately told them because they knew what was up. No, it's not this guy. It's somebody impersonating him doing this, and we don't know where they are. And I got a comment or communication through an actual person at Google and told them, and I guess the FBI and police department definitely, all you have to do is look up the original Midwest IP address and track it from there. Google can do it. They just have to get a warrant. And after that, I was told, we're not going to communicate with you anymore. You're not guilty of anything. And everybody this person's ever communicated with and harassed is being told, that incident that happened that day, that wasn't this guy. Please don't harass them. And I got a couple of responses from people saying, I'm sorry, I assumed you had said these things. This person impersonated you. I understood. I also made a video explaining how to not let that happen because proxy trolling became very popular on YouTube and Google. Anyway, those channels are gone now. I don't have them anymore. I'm now... Well, actually, I do have one. You see, I mentioned this person impersonating other people they were harassing. Like I said, the name Garrett Stark was there. Jim Lee. Team Justify. Jim Lee was a the climate viewer guy, if you're not aware of it. He's a person who set up his own version of Google Earth that you could contribute information to. Kind of snazzy. Still a cool project. When this person showed up impersonating him, I asked him, you know, the real one, and he's like, no. I mean, he and I knew each other. We I, I critiqued him. I even debunked one of his videos. Um... But he said, no, I'm getting, I'm getting trolled, too, because I told the guy to stop posting, so apparently I'm a rude person now, too. This is the first and last time I ever talked to the guy. Because, honestly, he was building his own version of Google Earth. I don't think he needed to talk to me. He has better things to do. Trolling this guy didn't do a damn thing other than just waste his time for five minutes. But the other names, I looked them up. Uh, one of them was a, a musician in the Philippines. Another person was some just some lady who's an artist or an actor or something. One of them I couldn't contact, and I couldn't find out why the person was being harassed, for the life of me, was a name Garrett Stark. And GS and another G initial was used on some of the other proxy accounts. In 2016, all of the harassment seemed to come to an end, and then later on, finally, Garrett Stark showed up search engine optimized. As a person arrested and jailed and imprisoned for 15 years for child molestation at the same time that this group or individual stopped harassing me and stopped impersonating me. The noise and shit level dropped down. This person going through a place in Sweden instead of somewhere in Ohio also stopped happening. I get a, an attack of downvotes from apparently Sweden. I'll be looking at my, uh, my uh, Google Trends to see if it's happening again. 
YouTube and Google obviously backtraced every one of the over 300, I don't even know how many, but over 300 YouTube and Google accounts and Google Plus accounts and erased them all. They're all gone. Well, no, they're not. Today, a channel, one of several impersonating the Jim Lee Climate Viewer account, decided to post. So I'd know that they're there to warn me that they're going to do a bunch of shit. Again, the original name this person went under that probably is the original handle was No Bugs, and it has no relation anywhere else except apparently it was one of the uh, it was a handle used on a team server for Call of Duty or some other video game as well. That's I, again, I got an email essentially from someone saying I'm with the original Call of Duty slash whatever gaming group called Team Justify. Uh, yeah, it's a person who showed up and they gave me some some skinny on it. So. What's going on now? Okay, on my YouTube channels, I'm assuming this individual is going to show up with as many proxy accounts as they can create and harass people, downvoting the shit out of things and going to other people's channels and talking shit about me and probably impersonating me because there are at least four, maybe, impersonator accounts that weren't deleted because they weren't IP address connected, so Google and YouTube decided not to take them down. As soon as they become active, they'll realize, oh, okay... Those have been permanently flagged to check on. We'll do that. Now remember, this may be associated with someone who violated federal law and went to prison. Maybe all of those channels were seized. The Garrett Stark channel at one time said seized by FBI. It really had that message. YouTube and Google would do that. They would actually tell you why something was seized, which is kind of dumb, actually. So in this day and age where you can get flagged for medical misinformation for saying Adolf Hitler was a jerk or hate speech or whatever, you know, they spin the wheel of complaints. The obviousness of this should be immediate. My channels are going to be taken down by somebody who hates me from 2014 because I simply said, I don't like your comment, you're being rude, and they decided to launch a two-year terror campaign. Or it's a friend of the individual who got locked up for being a perv. Now, of course, this will be the video gets flagged because the whole point of this was to say, I can flag you and get rid of your channels. And again, this person's decided to post today, and it is definitively one of the proxy accounts. It was just one that was harassing Climate Viewer for some fucking reason. Now, originally, again, this was one individual doing this, I assumed, and they never provided any indication ever that it was more than one individual. The only time they ever set up any accounts that looked even normal-ish was when they were posting on the Google help boards acting like there were 15 other people and they said, yeah, it's 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 a bunch of, uh, well, literally sock puppet accounts and uh, they're harassing me. And this person did that one thing where nobody wants justice, they want quiet. They would go around and harass administrators and trusted contributors in the help forums so that they get tired of me coming by and saying, yeah, this person's flagging me. It's really obvious they're doing it and they're trying to get all of you agonized and antagonized. They go after all sorts of people, like Jay Doors and other people who were famous on YouTube help forums for helping people, until they basically contacted me as a PM and said, I don't want to be involved in this, this guy's freaking me out. Then flag them, forward the nasty comments to, and they're like, no, we can't anymore. Really? So, what could have happened? The guy who got locked up didn't get out, so there may have actually been a crew of two. We'll see. So anyway, it'll say in the video at the top, jump to this point to get around all the bullshit at about the 14-minute mark, but it'll be the 13 and 58. If you've received an insulting commentary or any communication that's apparently come from my channel that's inappropriate, it isn't me. It's not in my character to do so, and there's no reason to believe it's true. And if you want to watch the entire video with this long soap opera-like discussion that I had to get someone at YouTube and Google to listen to in 2014. You can go ahead and listen to it, but here it is. Somebody who was willing to set up hundreds of YouTube accounts impersonating me back in 2014 is back and is going to do it again, trying to get rid of me and trying to prove that they can get away with doing this. They also claimed at one time to literally be working for the police or working at Google and hundreds of other stories, and they're infamous for harassing children. And just saying horrible things. It's not me. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. Just flag the comments. Bye.